Today we're taking a look at some sealed product that's taking off right now. And what caught my eye to start this video is the 151 UPCs. I noticed we're kind of starting to take off a little bit. They were in like the 140 range for a long time. Now they're up into like 180, which is kind of wild. These were available all day long for like 80 bucks at Costco and tons of other places. But look at these last solds. 185 and then we're in the 170s but then we're back up to 188 170s 180s like the upc is just taking off so yeah uh, there's some other 151 product in here that we're going to touch on as well but uh, the upc is what got me to this video and then i started looking up at uh for other sealed product that was doing well and that's that's, that's how we ended up here so uh the one the upc uh is crazy we'll we'll go back to the one month here real quick 25% in the past one month alone and on the one year up 80% which is wild that's some crazy gains uh and these prices on here you could have had these like like I said I think they were like 80 bucks some places so uh this is showing like 90s but you could pick this up for 80 dollar range so 151 is dominant uh here's some more this is the Pokemon Center exclusive ETB we touched on this before but it's still doing crazy things so they're saying TCG players putting market at 188, 52% gain in the past three months. Absolutely insane. 32% in the past month alone. 151 cannot be stopped. We zoom out to the one year here, one year high, obviously. But what's wild, check out these last solds. Last sold 223, 223 on this Pokemon Center exclu exclusive ETB. Uh, and then all the other sales are pretty much in the 200s. I mean... You're seeing one, some 190, 180, uh, but 223, that's, that is insane. And the reason is this card. This video is not really about singles. This is the only single we're going to really touch on, but check out the chart on the Snorlax stamped promo. 46% up in the past three months alone. And in the past month, 48%. Uh, yeah, and we're going to get to recent sales in a second. Kind of the same thing. You could have had this as low as $25 uh, less than a year ago. Pull up to last solds though. Check out these. Look, 120, 150, 120, 120. So the Snorlax uh, stamped promo. Honestly, 151 is something we've like never seen before. This is crazy. We got some more 151. Binder collection. 29% up in the past three months and... 21% in the past month alone. So this growth is coming recently and like just the steady climb 61% in the past year could have had this as low as 29. Uh, last solds we're seeing 50 to 70 two at $70 for the binder collection. 151. All right. Next up is our last 151 product uh, for this video. It's the Alakazam collection box. 43% in the past three months uh, that it's up. In the past month alone, we're seeing 28% gains. Just in the past month, it went from 38 up to almost $50. It's, I mean, 95% growth in the past year. As you could add this, um, you could add this at your retail stores. I mean, this was, I was seeing this at Walmart's Targets, right? Uh, but if you weren't gonna buy in TCG, you could have had this for 25 bucks. And last solds, we're seeing 47, about around $47 pretty consistently. So that, that seems like a pretty accurate uh, market price. Seems like it's leveling off around that, that price point. So yeah, collection box uh, is doing it. One, 151. It's, I keep like, I keep surprising myself when I look at these. At some point I shouldn't be surprised anymore, but <laughs> for some reason it keeps, it's just, it's just amazing. But enough 151, we're gonna move on to some other sealed product with starting with obsidian flames um we've touched on it before but 14 percent almost 15 percent growth in the past three months alone it's pretty solid and then in the past month up 11 percent it was as low as like 108 now it's into the 120s so obsidian flames uh while maybe not the best set a lot of people don't like it um for the cards sealed it's doing really well 26% growth in the past uh, year alone. Could have had this for $91 on TCG was like the lowest lowest price here. So 91 bucks. And now we're in the 120s. We'll put the last solds like 
125 pretty consistently for Obsidian Flames. Well, it'll be interesting to see what some of the singles do, like what that uh, that most expensive Charizard, I think it's like in the $40 range. It'll be interesting to see what that does as these boxes uh, continue to climb. Then we have another Obsidian Flames uh, ETB. We've touched on this before, but it's still just taken off. Uh, this is because of the Charmander promo, which I did not pull up for this video, uh, like I did the Snorlax, so I messed up a little bit there. But in the past three months, we're seeing 65% growth. Uh, it's in the past month alone, 24%. Just in the past month, you could have had this for less than 100, and some of these last solds are interesting. 48% um, growth in the past year. It was at 78, came all the way down into the 60s. For the, this is the Pokemon Center exclusive with the stamped uh, Charmander, and this is seeing probably a little bit of a run because of the Stellar Crown, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. Uh, kind of makes sense, but last solds we're seeing 140 and 135 on the last solds, so just steadily climbing. Uh, so yeah, if this chart was to represent that, we'd be up a lot more because one if 140 becomes the Listed median price, 150. So we can definitely see 140 on this chart, and that would be even crazier growth, honestly. Uh, Charmander, popular Pokemon. Uh, then we have Twilight. We got the booster boxes on here. 26% uh, growth in the past three months alone. Um, I just wanted to put Twilight on here again. I don't. We haven't talked about it too much recently, I don't think. Um, but 26% gain in the past three months. I mean, it's it hasn't really been a surprise. It's kind of leveling out a little bit right here. So that's kind of what I wanted to touch about, but still 5% gain in the past month. So uh, what's going to be interesting, we've talked about this pretty in depth, but just to kind of sum it up, and obviously you're seeing them, right? Like the one year high. Last solds, you're seeing pretty consistent 149, right? What will be very, very interesting, and take a note on this, if this box starts to get near $160, Right, that's the new MSRP for this SV era. If this does 160s and then they start selling out on the Pokemon Center, it's going to be wild. I mean, I'm telling you, that's what I'm looking. The first box, which will probably be, probably be Twilight, what it will do when it hits that price or even near that price. Uh, once it cracks into the higher 150s, um, man, that's going to be wild. But something I've also been thinking about just a little is Surging Sparks is getting a lot of hype. And then we got like Team Rocket coming up later. Will these sets, starting with Surging, steal some of the Twilight Thunder away? Will people stop putting their money into Twilight and we might see these prices come down? That's something that I'm keeping an eye out for. I don't know. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. But And I will like update you guys when we see movement. But Twilight, just had to give it props. It's doing crazy things, honestly. Um, yeah, 150s is wild. Um, then we have some Evolving Skies on here, right? So these are just the regular booster packs, uh, not the sleeved version. But just wanted to put this on here because seeing some growth, 20% in the past three months and 10% in the past month alone, which is some pretty solid growth there for, this, for the regular booster packs. And just steady climb, 91% in the past year. Could have had these for seven bucks. Um, yeah. So yeah, some, some really solid growth there. Um, last solds we're seeing 15, 14, 15. So it uh, looks like this price might tick up just a little bit more. But Evolving Skies, um, if I was to get Evolving Skies like packs, I'd pay a little bit extra and get the sleeved personally between these. I wouldn't get loose packs. Um, so yeah, I would, I would lean towards the sleeved. Um, the sleeved recently had a huge spike up and now they're kind of, I think it was a buyout possibly. And they're kind of coming down a little bit. They are more expensive. I think they're around twenty dollars, but I'd rather pay extra for the sleeved. If I, if I, if you were looking at getting uh, single packs, then we have the this is the Greninja box. Uh, this is from Shrouded Fable, and this was kind of like on a little bit of a decline. And now we're seeing a little bit of a run up on it. Uh, Fourteen percent in the past three months, with thirteen percent of that coming like in the last month alone. Uh, 32 bucks up to 37. Uh, see, this chart's not going to do anyone ever any favors here because it came out the gate. People were paying 65 for it, which looks like one person paid 65 for it. And yeah, so 
from that down point though it bottomed out around 28 yeah so it's it's on a steady climb so that's nice to see because this promo greninja absolutely stunning uh nice to see something from shrouded fable doing good uh could you imagine if that promo was just a regular card in the set would have been insane uh but yeah stunning card uh nice to see something from shrouded fable doing good happy to see it uh then we have a few sword and shield uh pokemon center exclusive etbs that are doing a little bit of movement which is nice to see from that era etbs have been really cheap uh from sword and shield for a while but the uh pokemon center uh fusion strike up 13 percent in the past three months and almost four percent in the past month alone so it's some pretty solid growth there we zoom out to the one year here and we'll see 15 percent uh overall it was at 63 and then it ran all the way down to 55 and now it's up into the 70s so nice to see uh some of these some of these etbs gaining some value uh 66 68 75 last solds then we have the lost origin one of my favorite sets from sword and shield 20 percent up in the past three months and it's kind of leveling out a little just two percent growth in the past month alone so that's not bad though uh only six percent over the last year because back here we're at 66 went as low as like 55 so yeah that's not bad um these these didn't have those stamp promos if these would have those stamp promos phew, sword and shield stuff would be like taken off um 67 68 65 last solds uh on the lost origin etb but that is kind of gonna do it for this one i just wanted to touch on sealed product some sealed product that's moving um it's things have been 151 heavy um that is just the reality of the market right now um we're gonna touch on 151 because it's relevant because it's hot because it's moving i try not to do too much of like one thing but it just it just keeps coming up 151 is just doing his thing um so yeah it kind of was highlighted by 151 with some some promos in there but yeah that is just a little uh, update for sealed product and that's i think that's gonna do it for this one guys um you guys have if you're watching this on release have yourselves a great saturday um oh also real quick uh last things last things um we do have a discount code for two discount codes um for pokey any if you guys um pokey any and forge and fire also, I want to preface, I'm, I don't get anything. I'm not getting paid from either of those people. I'm not getting discounts. I'm getting nothing. I'm just passing off some savings to you guys. Um, if you want to order on PokeNE, you can use the code not a phase uh, to save on orders over $50. You'll save some money and get a free pack. And then with Forge and Fire, if you're looking at picking up any Stellar Crown booster boxes, you can use the code WELCOME89. To get those stellar crown boxes for 89 dollars which is pretty cheap so uh, i just wanted to pass that on to you guys um if you're this far in the video obviously you guys deserve some savings so um i'll catch you in the next one and remember it was never a phase <laughs>